Now, from the KQ2 Weather Desk, your KQ2 Local Weather Authority forecast with meteorologist Vanessa Alonso, sponsored by East Ridge Car Wash. Well, luckily, Vanessa, no extreme heat or hurricanes in St. Joseph, but we definitely had some storms last night. Yeah, it was a stormy one for us, Courtney. We did have some severe thunderstorm warnings. Thankfully, the line of storms weakened as it entered the KQ2 viewing area. The rain is coming to an end this morning. Can't rule out another chance of it later on today as a cold front will be pushing through we here. Out ahead of it, it's going to be another hot and humid day, but the sunshine and near average less humid conditions are returning just in time for the weekend and perfect timing for the kiddos as it is the last weekend of summer vacation for them before they head back to school next week. Look at these temperatures over the next several days. 90 for the high today, then slightly cooling down heading into the weekend and early next week. The average high for this time of the year is 87. So enjoy it everyone because it is also going to be less humid behind the cold front, so it's going to feel fantastic. We are waking up to cloudy skies this morning after last night's activity. The storms that pushed through here is now moving into Kirksville, Missouri, Ottumwa, Iowa, Quincy, Illinois, and just to the south of us into Joplin and Springfield, the I-44 corridor. We do have some clearing out to the west, so I am anticipating sunshine mixing in with clouds, but we have more clouds out to the west as a cold front will be pushing through here again later on tonight. We are seeing the sunshine trying to peek through the clouds on our Reed Automotive camera looking out to the east on the south side of St. Joseph. Roads are still wet out there, so do allow for some extra travel time, but you can feel it in the air. It is mild. It is muggy. Temperatures right now sitting at 72 here in St. Joe, a dew point at 70. Humidity values very high in the 90 percentile. South winds coming in sustained at 5 to 10 miles per hour. We're all waking up to the 70s this morning. As we look ahead into the day today, temperatures will go from the 70s this morning into the 80s heading into the afternoon. I do think we'll top out at 90 degrees thanks to the sunshine that I'm expecting for later on this afternoon. As we look ahead to this evening, the cold front will be pushing through here sometime after sunset. We could see maybe a few showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two, but nothing compared to what we had last night. I think the bulk of the activity will stay to the south and to the east of us. Over the next 24 hours, high pressure is going to be building in. It's going to bring us sunshine, quiet weather, pleasant temperatures and less humidity in the air. So get ready, everyone. 90 for the high today. Again, the rain and the storms are coming to an end. Clouds this morning, more sunshine by the afternoon with the warm and humid conditions. Tonight, overnight lows will be falling into the 60s as the cold front pushes through here. And then as we look ahead into the weekend and early next week, Courtney, nothing to report right now. Mostly sunny and seasonable with highs in the mid 80s, overnight lows in the 60s. Love it, Vanessa. Thank you.